Could you give us some sort of insight into how you're viewing the big picture in diamonds at the moment? The sentiment in the diamond market at the moment is cautiously positive. And our early indications are that the diamond sales from North America over the Christmas period were up. So that's good news. And how does this fit in with some of the pluses and the thrusts that you're trying to introduce operationally currently? We're looking forward to a more stable operating environment and a slightly increasing diamond price. But you're talking about opening a new vista at uh, Saxon Drift. Uh, we're developing the Saxon Drift Hill Mine. This is immediately adjacent to the Saxon Drift Mine itself, uh, mining very similar gravels, but sufficiently far away for us to construct new infrastructure. We're very excited about this new operation. It's about to start commissioning uh, in, in this month as well, and it's based on our bulk X-ray Burovesnik uh, technology, both from a concentration perspective and a recovery perspective. This mine is being built for under $2 million and should have a very rapid payback based on the diamond prices and the grades of the gravels we have at Saxon Drift. What we are also planning uh, is to do a similar style of operation on our new Vyazkar property. Uh, the conceptual plans for that have already been put together and these, once they get approved by the board, will go to the pre-feasibility study stage. Now, I'm not quite sure if we can still do it at the same price uh, of $2 million, uh, as with uh, Saxon Drift Hill, much of that property was built uh, from current infrastructure. And our final bit of blue sky is our Votus Pun property. Votus Pun is a very large property where we're looking to build a half a million ton per month operation. Uh, we're in the throes of finalising our pre-feasibility study on this, and that will be completed by the end of next month. And uh, what can that be translated to in terms of total carrots from coming out of the Rockwell Diamond Stable? One of my great goals in, in the Middle Orange River, and the Middle Orange River consists of Saxon Drift, Saxon Drift Hill, uh, Nuva Yarskral and Votuspan, is to achieve a half a million cubic metres per month operation. And, and that's not just a number, and it's not just a, a nice kind of symbol for uh, my colleagues and I to actually aim towards. But once you start processing that order of magnitude, your larger diamonds, your plus 100 characters, start coming out every month. And as Rockwell is so dependent on the recovery of the larger diamonds, this will start to improve and make more consistent the cash flow uh, and income of the group itself. And getting back to the hard realities, you have some operational problems at uh, Turisano. You've closed that mine temporarily. You're re-looking it at it. Uh, Clip Dum continues to lose. How are you dealing with those issues? At Tirasano, it's been a, a very long story. We are going back to the drawing board, and in particular, we're having a very, very hard look at the metallurgy and in what technologies specifically uh, would apply to the effective processing of gravels from the Tirasano deposit. And then around um, mergers and acquisitions, is there any low-hanging fruit? There are many different diamond juniors out there, uh, not just trading at di very large discounts, but also struggling for funding and with single projects. So we are of course looking at those uh, other companies because what Rockwell can bring is a very strong operational team and a very strong board and some of the lowest uh, dollar per cubic meter uh, processing costs actually in the overall industry. So yes, we are most certainly talking to people uh, who have quality diamond deposits in reasonable jurisdictions. You're strengthening your board and we notice that you are uh, bringing on a seasoned veteran in the form of Rick Mill. What sort of value do you expect uh, Rick to add? And there are two specific areas where Rick will be able to help us, aside from being general guidance as a director. The first is in the area of corporate finance and then secondly from a deal making perspective. And your loss situation at the moment, when do you think that you'll come out of the loss period? I would see from Q1, financial Q1 going forward next year, uh, next financial year, uh, that the Tirasano costs would basically go back to just being a, a care and maintenance budget and then would have Saxon Drift which as, as per a press release is meeting its budgetary targets. Saxon Drift Hill will be well in operation by then and Clip Dam, uh, which is one of our other problem children would have started to actually knock its bootstraps as well.